when I was uh, running my telecoms company, I had this finance director and he taught me a lot about accounting. Um, in fact, I remember the first year he worked for me, he said, uh, so Jeremy, do you want to make a 200 grand loss or 200 grand profit or break even? And I was blown away that that's possible with the same numbers um, just by changing income and cost recognition uh, dates and, and things like that. But he, uh, he, he had something he used to call the BA School of Accounting or the British Airways School of Accounting. And I actually, I've never checked how true this is, but what he said, and this probably goes back a few years because it was 20 years ago that he told me this, mm-hmm. but he said that basically one in four years for um, that company um, used to be a terrible year. And so what they used to do is when they were having a bad year, they would just take everything and throw it into that one bad year. So write everything off, um, write off any investments that they've made, make a load of people redundant and bring all those redundancy costs into that year. They would literally, you know, throw everything and the kitchen sink into this really, really terrible year. And then they would have three stellar years, three really, really awesome years that would follow it. And it's kind of like, look, if you're having a bad year, you're having a bad year. Why not have a terrible year and get it all out of the way and and build the foundations um, so that next year is a bit of a a springboard. And it just always, it it strikes me as being really, really interesting because you kind of look at things like, um, you know, the global financial crisis, for example, the government put loads of stimulus into um, protecting house prices because obviously a housing crash can have all sorts of knock-ons and there's always this debate is it better to put stimulus into that sort of thing or is it better to let it crash and then have 10 years of growth because the 10 years of growth also helps a lot of people and does a lot of things so there's you know always that kind of um, uh, debate about the right way uh, to do things but I just always liked that uh, that expression the BA school of accounting which is get all your bad news out of the way in one go if you're going to have a bad year have a really bad year and then uh, it does make having a good year the next year really really easy because there's such a low baseline to build from you know when you see these companies that say oh we grew you know 100% in the last three months it's like well what happened before that um, was there <laughs> was there a big correction that you had first before that um, uh, before that recovery